Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can warm up your mailboxes inside a smart lead account. So the first thing you need to do is obviously connect your mailboxes. Uh, but once they are connected, what you want to do is either open like in individual mailbox settings, or if you want to do it all together in bulk, which I suggest you to do, because it will save you time, you'll just like select this, it will select all the records, you'll click bulk update. And you'll need to fill out this info right here. But I have one already filled out, you can take a look at so you know, like what um, settings you should indicate. So you'll take this uh, here, you'll write 20 in like total warm up emails per day. Uh, you want daily ramp up to be about like four or five. Uh, so we just like does not immediately send like 20 emails. And you also want to randomize the numbers between like 10 and 20. And you also want uh, the smart lead to reply to 80% at least of your emails. So you actually increase the engagement between like emails sent and replies uh, got them back. So yeah, put 80 here. And here you also want to enable auto adjust warm up sending ratio because when you start uh, sending real emails, let's say if you do like 25 emails per mailbox per day, and you also have like 20 warm up emails, that might be a bit uh, a lot. So just to stay under the radar and like not draw any eyeballs either from Google, Outlook or any other email service provider, just take this, okay, and smartly they will take care of it uh, by itself. But yeah, so once you are here, you'll select this, uh, it should be active here, you'll write 20 uh, bulk update, it will be five, randomize from 10 to 20, 80%. Uh, here, like, if you want, basically, like, this is custom warm up tag. So whenever you receive a warm up email, it will have, uh, like, let's say, it will have like green apple in all those emails. So you can actually tell that that's a warm up email. So you can do this. And here, yeah, at last, you just tick it, enable and click save. And there you go. When you open the mailbox, you can see if you go to the warm up, everything is set up nice and smooth. And that's practically it. You don't need to do anything else. Ideally, you, you want to warm up your mailboxes for at least like the, the minimum. Um, the minimum is at least like two weeks, but you want to do at least three weeks because nowadays everybody's doing two weeks and then immediately start sending emails and like email providers can already like recognize that pattern so just to be a bit extra safe and if you're not in that big of a rush to start sending emails let them warm up for at least like three weeks four weeks and then start sending because it will give you just better uh chances of landing in the inbox right so that's it that's all you need to do. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. Otherwise, have a great day.